Oh man, we got some news today. Wow. Oh, we have our terrible Reggie Pizza Man. <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with the video you already know the vibes bro give it a thumbs up like 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 destroy that like button and playstation 5 console giveaway on the channel make sure one you're subscribed to this youtube channel two follow me on twitter the giveaway is gonna be lit let's get to the first the first News item is pretty dope, bro. Twisted Metal Remake coming to a console, PlayStation console near you. That's right. <coughs> According to Tom Henderson, an industry insider who has correctly leaked Call of Duty and Battlefield information before, has um, revealed that. A Twisted Metal remake will be coming in 2023. This is coming from GamingBible.co.uk. And I still remember playing the original Twisted Metal on the PlayStation 1. Sweet Tooth, iconic um, character. This is what I was hoping Destruction All-Stars would be. Destruction All-Stars isn't a bad game. It's a perfect PlayStation Plus free game. But the iconic character, the environment, can't wait to see what they do with the remake for twisted metal all right the next news item bro 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 saying that nintendo is killing it in japan is the biggest understatement ever <coughs> check this out the nintendo switch has the top 30 games in japan on the top 30 list of software games selling right now in japan every single game belongs to the nintendo switch this is the first time this has happened in over 33 years numbers 1 through 30 on the software chart belong to the switch in japan handhelds are king and the switch pretty much has no competition in japan now us and the west um, of course home consoles are more of the thing switch is selling good globally but for this to happen in japan numbers one through 30 all nintendo switch games that is insane 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 so gotta give credit where credit is due nintendo is still hot 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 especially in the land of the rising sun earn the next news item bro were you hoping one day to turn on your switch and play halo or turn on your playstation and play halo through game pass well according to phil spencer it's not happening not that xbox doesn't want to because if xbox had their way they would have game pass on the switch and on a playstation 5 but both nintendo and sony said no <laughs> do not want xbox game pass on their platform this is coming from techradar.com and it says ps5 and switch won't get xbox game pass because those platforms don't want it says phil spencer and it makes sense there why would um playstation want a competing party store on their platform and the same thing with switch and so there were rumors there were rumors about a year or two ago that 
Nintendo and, and, and Xbox was working something out behind the scenes and many were speculating that Game Pass was what they were working on, some kind of Game Pass on the Switch, but it looks like it's not happening. Of the two platforms, PlayStation and Nintendo, Nintendo would benefit the most with Game Pass. A lot of third-party games just aren't coming to the Switch because the console can't handle it. Game Pass through the cloud streaming um, could probably get some of those games. Have games like Halo on the Switch. That would go crazy, bro. That would go insane. Even though Nintendo does allow a lot of some third-party games to be streamed that can't run natively, Game Pass definitely would have gave the console a boost. But like I just said in my last news item, it's not like Nintendo needs Xbox or to the effect Sony. Because the PlayStation 5 um, earned the most money in NPD charts last um, this past month. So Game Pass, um, if you want to play Game Pass, you got to stick to an Xbox console or PC, boy. And the next news item. Bro, Call of Duty has leaked. The next Call of Duty game has leaked and it's um, said to be called Call of Duty Vanguard. And the reveal is set for August 19th in Warzone. Um, and the PlayStation Store has leaked the reveal. This is coming from GameSpot, GameSpot.com. An image on the PlayStation Store says Vanguard will be announced through Warzone this week. Now, everything I've heard so far about this leak, Call of Duty fans are disappointed. I think primarily because of the setting. It's going to be set in, I think, World War II, and it's not going to have the, the flair and all the um, latest guns or whatnot, but... I think um, COD is still going to tool the guns and the weapons to make the game enjoyable and fun. At the end of the day, it's going to be a Call of Duty game. But it will be interesting to see how this game sells, especially, especially with all of the um, flack that um, Activision has been getting with their company. The sexual harassment cases, um, lawsuits, all the drama around Activision and Blizzard. A lot of people had said they're skipping out on Call of Duty this year. And to top that off, I'm hearing the new Battlefield is looking amazing. And so this could be Battlefield's year. We'll have to see. All right. And the last news item for this video. I thought this was pretty interesting. Ghost of Tsushima has been quietly removed from the PlayStation Store ahead of the director cut, the director's cut release. Ghost of Tsushima director's cut will be launching, I think it's August 20th, uh, within a week, <coughs> which will include the original game plus uh, extra DLC content, which I can't wait to play. I've beaten the game on the PlayStation 4. We'll be getting the director's cut. But, so that fans won't be confused, um, Sony will just be ha selling the Ghost of Tsushima director's cut um, on the PlayStation Store, which you can still um, purchase the separate game ahead of time, but there are some quality of life improvements. And so the original Ghost of Tsushima, you can no longer download it on the PlayStation Store, bro. Bro, bro. This is one of the most beautiful games ever, man. Just riding the horse through those flowers in the open fields. Amazing. All right, dudes. Those are the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bruh, we out, boy.